This is the 2021 BrewTubers Online Brewers Club Yeast Experiment number two, Saison. Thank you to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Five Star Chemicals, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store, Brewing America, all stainless steel mash paddle sponsors. Also Hopsteiner and Yakima Chief Hops. Get brewing. Hey guys, Matt here at Rack Brewery. We're gonna do another review. This is the BrewTubers Yeast Experiment. This is number two, the Saison, um, or as Gary calls it, the Zazon, as he put on the top of his can. So that's what he's calling his. Um, so Gary actually put together this recipe and it's turned out to be a damn good recipe for the ones that I've tried so far. I really enjoyed mine. I've enjoyed so far the couple that I've had from the lot. So I'm looking forward to trying all these others and seeing what each of the yeast does to this particular recipe. Um, so this is, you know, this is Gary's entry here. This is it's from Tab Out Brewing. Um, so he used the French Saison yeast from uh, White Labs. I believe it is uh, WLP 590. I think is the number. Uh, yep, 590. So let's see here. Some fine print. The eyes are starting to go with age, I guess. Um, or actually, it's I guess it's a little bit blurry on the label. Maybe the condensation kind of got to the bottom of that label. Um, so I believe it says 1066 is the OG. Final gravity 1009. Handcrafted in Naples, Florida. Tap out brewing. Canned on 524. And uh, what is he saying here? This beer is part of the BrewTubers 2021 Yeast Experiment Hub number two. This version was fermented with WLP 590 from Weight Labs. It was pitched and fermented at 75, ramped up to 78. It was brewed on April the 10th, fermented for 14 days, kegged on the 29th of April, and carbonated at 10 PSI. Now, we do have a spreadsheet that we've been going off of um, that... Um, has more information on it. Um, Gary did pretty good putting a lot of good information on that can. So let me see what's on here that might not be might not be on there. So he, let's see, one package, no starter. So he used it as it was right in the vial. Uh, he brewed six gallons. Um, yes, yeah, so all the dates are on the can. He brews with a two tier, three vessel electric herm system. You guys have seen his his rig, I'm sure, it's pretty impressive. Uh, so, mash temperature 150, mash pH 5.3, pre-boil gravity 1058, uh, original gravity 1066, yeah, fermented 75, ramp 78 for three days, cold crash 35 degrees, ABV of four, a 7.48%, final serving pH of 4.4. I think that was all the ones that recorded the number, they were pretty all about the same. All right, let us talk a little bit about the yeast. Uh, well, let me get a pour on this first, and then we'll go ahead and start that. Good pop on the can. Look at that can coming right off the right off the top of the foam. Gary loves to pour his or fill his cans right to the top. All right, got a pretty good pour on this. Yeah, it's about the same color as mine, I think. It's a nice sort of uh, medium straw color, copperish color to it. It's pretty clear. You can see through it. What's interesting about these muffin top glasses, a shout out to Brewing America, one of our sponsors. Um, the bottom of it is clearer than the top, which is kind of interesting. Maybe it's just the way it's sort of the, the uh, glass kind of curves. Um, but no, it's pretty clear. You can see through it. It's not, crisp, it's not crystal clear, but uh, I, I don't need problems seeing through that. The head was a finger when I poured it and it's died down a little bit. So it's like three quarters now. Um, I don't know, it looks like it might sort of burn off. Uh, I guess we'll find out here as it kind of settles. Let me get a, go ahead and aroma on this first. It's got a good Saison uh, aroma to it actually. It's, it's kind of what I um, have been noticing on a, lot, on a, lot, a few of these so far. So I'm getting I'm probably getting some of the malt there. Maybe a little bit of um, like like an apple. That's kind of interesting. Maybe a little bit like a pear. I love pears. I can kind of I can I can pick that out. Hmm. Well, let's see what they say about the yeast because I uh, I do want to understand 
I, I don't think I've ever used this yeast. I've used, I've done Saison yeast and I've done the White Labs Saison, but not the 590. So what does this say here? So attenuation 78 to 85%, flock ratio to medium, alcohol tolerance medium, fermentation uh, temperature range they suggest is 68 to 85. So he was kind of in the middle, um, maybe on the upper end of the middle of that. Uh, they're saying that one of the, this is one of their most popular Saison strains. It is great for farmhouse style beers because it produces flavors and aromas of pear, apple, and cracked pepper. How about that? I got some of that already. Um, this strain is a high attenuator producing a very dry and drinkable fishing, uh, finishing beer. They say, say that it's uh, good for a Belgian pale ale, beer de garde, if I'm pronouncing that right, and uh, a Saison. So, um, yeah. Well, let's see. So I did, I did pick out some of that. I got a little bit of the apple and pear there. Cracked pepper, though, I don't think I got that. You know, maybe, maybe now that I've, I've read that, I can, I can kind of pick that out. I'm, I'm not good with descriptors or necessarily being able to sort of pinpoint ingredients. Um, so I have a hard time kind of picking out specific things like that. But no, it's very nice, you know, great visually. Awesome Saison aromatote. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Ooh. Yeah, there's that pepper. So I guess um, I'm not, I wasn't picking up a lot of it there in the aroma, but it's definitely there in the taste. This is probably... So I talk about uh, liking my Saisons kind of middle of the road. I think Dennis uh, is, is of a similar thought there. He's probably said the same thing on his videos. Um, I, you know, I've had them where they're a little bit on the lesser side, and I've had them where they're on the higher side of being spicy, peppery. You know, a lot of the a lot of their saison characters. This is a little bit over the um, the sort of middle of the road for me. I still like it. It's a damn good, damn good beer. That's an excellent beer, but this one. When you look at the scale of that, to me, it's tipping high. It's going higher on that uh, sort of peppery side of things. It's good. It's really nice. Still, it's still well within that nice, nice saison range that I, that I like to drink. I've had, you know, I've had a, a number of them. This, um, it's really interesting how these yeast can kind of, you know, change. I mean, they've all so far. I've had. I think this is my third or fourth one now. Um, They've all tasted like a Saison. They've all tasted, you know, what, what I kind of expected to taste, but they've all kind of had like, almost like a, uh, you know, like that volume knob that kind of turn up the Saison, you know, and this one's a little bit, a little bit turned up than the other ones. Can't think of a better way to describe it. Um, but no, it was nice. Gary, thank you for, for uh, putting together this recipe for all of us. This has been so far a really fun experiment. I'm getting to learn a little bit more about some of these yeasts and, um, and surprising myself now, starting to pick out the scripters that I'm now, you know, soon after reading. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, um, shout out to our sponsors. I'm going to end with this. Um, I've already mentioned the Muffin Top guys. Um, thanks to all of our other sponsors like Yakima Chief, Hop Steiner for providing us some hops for this. Imperial Yeast for the um, for supplying some yeast for us. And Beer and Wine Hobby for supplying ingredients. I know a lot of us got during our ingredients for the experiments to those guys. Thank you to Five Star for helping keep the brewery clean and sanitary. Um, if, I got, if I forgot anybody, I apologize. I think we have a lot of sponsors lately and, I, and it's really cool that more, more are uh, popping on, um, enjoying the ride with us. So come join the fun. You know, these experiments are a ton of fun and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys on the next review. Have a good night, everybody. Cheers.